Hi everyone, Brianna Jetty here from the Camp Hill Public Library. Today we are going to tell you the story of Stone Soup. It is an old folk tale that is told around the world. Our retail is based on the beautifully illustrated version by John J. Newman. We hope you enjoy it. Our story takes place in the countryside in China. Three traveling monks, Ho Cloak and Sao, are walking along a mountain path. They're talking and walking and enjoying the day. Suddenly, the youngest monk, Hoke, says, I wonder what makes people happy. Hmm, says Sao, the oldest monk. Let's find out. Suddenly, they hear a bell ring. It draws their attention to a village down below the path. That would be a good place to stop for the night, says Sao. Little did the traveling monks know that the villagers had seen some rough times. Disease, war, and famine had made them untrusting of strangers. They were even suspicious of each other. Hokolo and Sue made their way up to the village gates. When they got there, nobody in the village was there to greet them. They heard a bit of a scurrying and could see people were going to their houses and closing the doors tight. They went up to the first door that they saw and knocked on the door. Nobody answered. The house went dark. They went up to another door and knocked. Again, nobody answered, and the house went dark. They went to a third door. Nobody answered, and the house went dark. They did this again and again and again. These people don't know happiness, they all said. Hmm, said Sao. I think we should show them how to make stone soup. The monks got busy. They went around the courtyard and they collected branches and sticks and laid a fire. Then they got a pot out of their bag and set it on the fire and filled it with water from the village well. A brave little girl was watching from the sidelines and she crept closer. What are you doing? She asked. We're making stone soup, said Loke. We need to find one smooth, clean, round stone. I'll help, said the girl, and she went searching. She came back with a perfect stone, round and smooth and clean. But it didn't quite fit in the pot. Oh no, said Hoke. We'll need a bigger pot if we want to make stone soup. My mom has a big pot, said the little girl, and she ran home and brought back a beautiful, big, pot. Just perfect for the stone. It fit right inside. When she had gone home, her mother was kind of interested in what was happening and started to peek out the window. The monks noticed that a few other people were watching too from their porches. Hmm, said Hoke. Old style stone soup is usually made with salt and pepper. I have some salt and pepper said the carpenter that lived across the courtyard. He went to his cupboard and brought it out. Hmm, said Loke. So I remember when we made stone soup once and we used carrots and that made the broth really sweet. I have a carrot, said a woman from the back. She went into her garden and pulled out a big juicy carrot and they added that to the pot. What about onions? said Sao. I remember we made stone soup once and onions made it smell so delicious. I've got some onions, said a farmer. He went into his garden and pulled some out of the soil. The pot bubbled and the soup started to smell delicious. A crowd gathered. People were really interested in what was going on. And as each person gave, the villagers opened their hearts and they gave more mushrooms and broccoli. I've got some corn. I have a tomato. They gathered together and filled the pot. It smelled delicious. 
The monk stirred and stirred. How good it smelled. How good it would taste. How giving the villagers had become. At last the soup was ready and the villagers gathered together at one big table. Everyone sat down to eat. They hadn't been together for a feast like this as long as anybody could remember. The monks looked at each other and smiled. And to think, to be happy, is as simple as making stone soup.